Okay, this is the self-help um, guide for fixing the firmware on your Agfa 7-inch tablet. Um, so we've gone on to benross.com, we've downloaded, uh, we've clicked on the link and downloaded the firmware fix. Okay, now this will arrive onto your PC wherever your normal down, uh, anything you would download off the internet would arrive. So uh, for me, I've downloaded mine direct onto my desktop. You may find yours in a download folder or in uh, my documents or even in your username uh, folder on your PC. But locate that file and you'll find that there is a tablet fix via PC uh, folder with a zip down the front. Now this is a Windows compressed folder. You shouldn't need any additional software to open this uh, folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that straight away. So I'm going to double click. Uh, on the folder it then opens up a new window and in the new window we have a folder called tablet fix via PC and I'm going to double click onto that and inside that folder there are two further folders one with a NASADA with a 201-40707 file ref uh, folder reference and then below that there is an upgrading tool folder now the upgrading tools folder is the one we need so I'm going to double click there and you're presented with two more folders. Now there is a pad firmware modify tool and a pad product tool. Now we are after the pad product tool. So make sure you select that one and not the firmware tool. So pad product tool. I've double clicked on there and it's brought me up uh, five more uh, files here. Now we're not interested in any of the ones at the top. It's the setup application file we're after. So I'm going to select that and then double click. Okay, this will now bring up a user account control. Now, anybody familiar with Windows will get these uh, pretty often. Um, so, just need to click yes to uh, um, authorize this setup exe file. Mine did take a fair amount of time to load this warning screen, but it certainly did come up. So, it will open the pad product tool uh, setup wizard. Uh, and this is simply a case of clicking next. Uh, the installation wizard will just uh, go straight through so you don't need to do anything else. So then we click next again and then it asks me to confirm the installation there and I'm going to click next. This will take a couple of minutes just to install the Pad Product Tool um, uh, program which then we can apply the fixed and uh, get your tablet working. Okay, that's the uh, installing the pad product tool, uh, just finalising now. The progress bar has gone all the way to the end. So as soon as that finishes, we'll be able to uh, just close down this wizard. Okay, it's come up installation complete, which is fantastic, it's what we want. So we're just going to click on close in the bottom right hand corner. Now if you just minimise that screen uh, for the minute and go to your Windows Start uh, button in the bottom left hand corner, and then you may find that uh, you've got a new program highlighted up in this field here. Um, but if not, you can certainly just scroll down. You'll find a uh, folder called Actions Tools. And that's the one we need. So we need to click on that. And you'll find in there a Pad Product Tool folder. And within that folder, there is Pad Product Tool. With, and, and that's got a silver box next to it for the icon with a, with a green sort of styling inside. So double click on that one to open up that. Again, you may get a user uh, account control message pop up. Just select yes if you do. Okay, so um, the uh, pad product tool software is opened and it ran through a couple of things itself uh, as it should. And it's brought open the, um, the open dialog box uh, in Windows. And what it's asking us to do is select a firmware file. Uh, now there is only one uh, showing on, on the screen and, and uh, as will be with yourself. Um, it's a very long winded ATM 7021A 86V 800 times 400 uh, file name. But there's only one firmware file, so as long as that one's there, it's the one you need. So we've just selected that one. The name's popped up in the file name at the bottom, and we're going to select Open. Okay, it's now asking us, uh, it's giving us current firmware, new firmware, 
Uh, don't worry about any of the information in there. We just need to confirm what we're doing now by clicking on replace. Okay, and we've done that. Now we need to go ahead and connect up our uh, tablet to the PC. And uh, we can do this by one of the cables that came in the box. I'm just going to try and get that in front of the screen here. So the cable we're looking for in the box is a USB cable to micro USB. And we're simply going to connect the USB end, which uh, is the one on screen here, into the USB port of our PC. And that's in. And then with our tablet, we're actually going to connect to the, again, marked USB on the back of the tablet. Uh, just make sure you get that one the right way round. We're just going to uh, install that on there, and that's fantastic. Now, just before the PC, uh, we switch the PC on. Um, it can be on, it, it doesn't make any difference. I just wanted to, to explain something. You'll notice in the uh, bottom corner here, um, there is a uh, box and it's shaded in grey and this is the one that we want to get working so um, we need to switch on our, P uh, our tablets uh, now it doesn't matter like I say if your tablet was on if it was when you plugged it in you've already got it there we go it's just happened it's just turned green so if the tablet was switched off and you've connected it up switch it on please if the tablet was on and you've connected it up it's fine and we should all be sat with this green shaded, uh, turned from grey to green. So what we're going to do is click on that and that will correct the firmware on your tablet and allow you access into Google Play. So that's going to run through. Um, this normally takes just under two minutes uh, to complete. So I'm going to uh, switch the video off and then switch back on once it's done and we can just finish off and get using our tablets. Okay, we're back, it's 70%. I reckon there's about 10 seconds to go until this is finished, so I thought I'd just talk you through the end. So uh, we've not done anything, we've not needed to do anything to our tablet, it's connected to our PC. Our PC, the pad product tool software, is going through rewriting the firmware, which is going to correct the problem. And, uh, then we, there we go, just gone through now. Two minutes and six seconds, I said it was about two minutes, which was fantastic. So we're done, um, really. So all we need to do now is close down that product um, uh, box. So we can disconnect the tablet, we can disconnect our computer with a USB cable, we can put that back in the box, uh, ready for, for use for when you want to transfer files. And we can switch our tablet back on. We can go to Google Play now, we can um, either register new or existing uh, details for a Gmail account to get into Google Play and you'll be straight in and now enjoying your tablet. I hope you found this uh, video guide useful. Thank you very much.